Hi everyone, welcome to this simple tutorial that I'm going to show you the best audio settings in Bandicam while you're recording your gameplay on your PC. This is the new interface that Bandicam gave us this time. It opened earlier in 2018 that shows a new product of Bandicam that is easier to use and very straightforward. It has these buttons up here where you can have the options either to record your screen or to record the gameplay or to record capturing from your HDMI and also added to it there is the mouse or cursor effect that you have up here if you click on it and it's highlighted it means you're going to capture the effects of the mouse as you may uh, require but for today we're going to concentrate on the audio here now you can see this is highlighted. It means that I can capture my microphone while I talk in this video. However, if you just don't want to click here to add your microphone or on the side to add your camera, I'm going to show you exactly where you're supposed to go in order for you to access these settings. First, you want to click on General on the left. And you go ahead and click on Advanced. And on advanced, it's going to bring you these options where it has general, output, hooking, language, or other. At this point, you want to click on other. This is where you're going to access the video recording settings, video format settings, and autocomplete recording. You want to click on video recording settings is where you're going to access most of the videos, most of the videos features, where you can add the mouse, your logo and other options but here we're going to deal with the sound because it's exactly what we're here for now for the best settings for your sound you want to leave primary sound device as your first option here first of all you have to click check sound i mean you have to check record sound up here in order for you to be able to record any sound from your microphone or from your PC while you play the game. You can check this one save audio tracks while recording in order for you to save a separate WAV uh, format of the sound of whatever you're recording. On the primary sound device you definitely want to leave this as the default uh, as the default sound device in order for you to record your gaming sound this up here is your gaming sound so which means all the special effects and the sound and everything that is coming from your game will be captured here on the secondary sound device is where you're going to choose the microphone that you connected to your computer that is going to be co capturing your commentary while you play the game. And here when you when you press on the drop down bar is where you're going to choose your microphone. And at this point I suggest that you have already connected your microphone to your PC. Here you're going to find a whole lot of options. Default sound device which we chose in the first option so that one is already captured the speaker real take high definition audio is what i have connected to my computer and i definitely do not want to capture that because i want to capture my commentary while i play the game the third option i have connected to my computer is the microphone 3301581 which is my digital usb clip on microphone and because I'm going to use this while I'm playing my video game, I'm going to go ahead and select that to be my secondary sound device. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and you can choose the volume of how you want your voice to be input. And for this matter, I want my volume to be 100% because I want my commentary to be heard, loud and clear. The second two option, options are really not necessary, but I'm going to explain to you exactly what they mean anyways. The first option says to sound mix primary and secondary into one audio track. If you check this option, like I've checked mine, it means that you're going to have one track of a recording in your sound, which is going to combine your microphone input, and it's also going to combine your in-game uh, sound. 
The second option is the push to talk or push to mute button. And if you check this, it will give you an option down here to either push the space bar while you talk or to push the space bar while you mute your microphone input. And that's it when you're recording the sound. After you choose these options, you go right ahead and click OK, and that will be saved. If you want to reset back to the factory resettings, you have to click on the reset button which we don't want to do right now especially that I'm recording the video. So here you have to click OK in order for you to go ahead and save your settings. Up here where the video counter is you can see that when I talk in the microphone the microphone sound capture goes up and down to show me that I'm capturing the input of the sound. Now that we're done with this, we're going to go ahead and open up a game and I'll show you the settings of the audio in the game in order for you to balance out proper the commentary that you're inputting while you're playing your game and also the in-game sound. So let's go ahead and open up a game so I can show you how to properly um, manage the sound in the game in order for you to have a great mix where your commentary is hard while you play the game. To illustrate what is happening when you're setting up your volume and your audio controls when you're recording your games. I've opened up Super Lucky Tales, which is a game that I love to play a lot. Now I'm going to show you you have to navigate and find your <coughs> sorry, you have to navigate and find your audio settings in the game in order for you to put them at a level in which you can input both your commentary and your in-game audio at the right amount so you can be had and the voice can also be heard while you play the game. So you can see I've navigated up to my audio settings in the game and I have the effects settings at about 45% is good enough. And then I have the music volume at about 50%. So you really want to share the music and also have your volume or your voice of the commentary being heard while you record your videos. Thank you so much for watching and that's it for now. You can tell now, you can hear the music in the background and hear my voice loud and clear. So now that we've finished this, I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And I'll be able to play my game and hear my voice talk and also hear my in-game volume at the same time. You can see I can go ahead. You can hear the voice and you can also hear the in-game volume or the in-game audio while I play. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Bye-bye for now.